Hello guys, how are you doing today? Hope you are doing marvelously well. It's your boy Miss by G Y A K G Y on the beat. Okay, so I'm here again with a very brief explanation on how I mix my drum boss and what I have on my mix boss. Okay, I got um, this was a request or a, a question on my comment. Uh, I think it was okay. Fine, it was Kofi Any that asked. He said, "Please, can you show us what you did on your drum boss and your mix boss?" That was over a video I did some time ago on how to mix Afro beats in 2024 using FS Studio. So without wasting much time, we are going to jump into uh, jump into the tutorial. Yes. Yeah, so this is a track I am working on, um, an instrument I'm working on. So. What do we have in this instrument? Uh, I have my drums color coded. That's how I work. Okay, that's my workflow. I like to color code my instrument so it's easier for me to work or to see things when I or to call on things when I need them. It just makes my workflow faster. Okay, that's how I get them done. So these drums are routed to a drum bus. This is the drum bus. Now I'm going to quickly explain what I have in the drum bus. Now. I have eight instances of the NLS bus. I've done this tutorial before, but I had to answer Kofi. Okay. I have eight instances of the NLS bus. This technique is by Jason Joshua. Okay. The NLS bus, like I said in the other tutorial, is like a big, is this big board you have, analog board you have. Okay. It has a way of coloring the sound and making it sound fatter and better. So the first instance we have is the NLS bus, like I said, and it's the, the, the we are trying to emulate the mic. It has three presets, spike, SSL mic, and Evo. So the first one is the mic, the first insert. And what we are doing is we are turning this drive knob just 0 0.5, that's half a dB. The tree remains the same, every other thing is turned off. The second instance is the spike, SSL, the drive at zero, the trim at zero. We are turning on the noise. Please take notes. We are talk, turning on the noise, okay? The third one is the mic. Zero, tri, drive at zero, trim at zero. We are turning on the noise also. The fourth is the mic, drive at zero, trim at zero. We are turning on the noise. The fifth is the mic, drive zero, trim zero. We are turning on the noise. The sixth is the spike, drive zero, trim zero, noise on. The seventh is the mic, drive zero, trim zero, and the noise is on. Then the last, which is the eighth instance of the of the NLS bus, is the Nevo, which is the NIF console. Zero, drive, zero, trim, noise, turn on. So with the with those eight instances this is what you get on the drum bus please just the drums i'm going to solo the drums only yes with the nls bus that's what you get so but i'm going to bypass that drum is cool though but with the nls it's punch better it's it hits harder right you can hear the difference off on cool so that's the beauty of the nls bus so that's what i'm doing on the drum bus but again i'm following with this uh plugin called fruity balance because sometimes with this uh, analog sorry analog board you get to get you sometimes you have some imbalance you notice because of the imperfection of these hardwares sometimes it becomes a little bit left heavy or right heavy so I'm just using this fruity balance, fruity balance rather in FS Studio. As you can see, I took it to the left 3% just to balance the drums and make it center. Okay, that's what all I'm doing with that. Then the last thing I'm doing is I'm adding this plugin by um, this plugin by Kush. It's called Clariphonic. All I'm doing is I'm taking up the focus. Uh, 12 o'clock then i'm using the clarity knob just to get some sheen and brightness out of the drums okay i don't want the drums to be muddy and dull so that's all i'm doing with this so i'm going to play first with this plugin bypass and halfway i'll turn it in so you feel the difference or hear the difference rather now with it on yeah, 
now the drum just comes alive, right? Off. Sounds dull. On. Sounds brighter and um, less muddy, right? So that's all I'm doing on my drum boss. Now to answer your second question, you said the miss boss. So this is my miss boss or what we call the master fader in FA or the master boss. So all I'm doing in my master boss are just two plugins. This is not working. Sorry, this editing. This is the first plugin I'm doing is um, is Vitamin. I've done a tutorial on, um, I think it was on mid range. So I explained how to use this plugin perfectly. You can go check out that tutorial. I think I'll put a link in the description of this video so you can see that. So the first thing I have in my miss boss yes is the vitamin so i'm just adjusting these parameters so you you just check that video out you you know how to um, use this plugin or your miss boss then the next thing i have is the god particle okay there's a god particle i usually have this when i start my beats okay so all i'm doing is i'm pushing audio into it so i can get a good amount of input yeah yeah, I'm living at default. Um, in fact, it's just at default. I'm not really doing so much on the plugin. As you can see, the limiter is at default. All I'm doing is I'm taking the output just minus one dB just to. Um, I don't want it to pass through the peaks or I don't know. I just want it to be tamed a little. That's all I'm doing. So I won't usually push this. The inputs. If my beats were so loud and I was getting enough input, so I had to push this input 5 dB because I wasn't getting a, enough volume into the plugin. So please, it doesn't necessarily mean you should push volume into the plugin because if you push too much volume into the plugin, that would be bad. You don't want this to get to the red like this. That is bad, right? Good. So because I wasn't getting enough volume into the plugin at default. So I have to push in some volume. But I remember we we are not clipping, okay? We shouldn't clip, we shouldn't get to the reds. So that's why I'm pushing volume into it. So that's basically what I do on my miss bus. That's what I do on my miss bus. I don't do so much. This plugin is just to check my LUFS. So that's not that's just a meter like metering, okay? So that's all I do on my Miss Boss. Thank you very much for watching. Please, if you have any other um, comments uh, or any other question, feel free. I will be here to answer your questions, okay? Thank you very much. I really appreciate you. Please, guys, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn on the bell notification so you get notified each time I post content like this. Thank you. Respect.